So everybody knows that we're not going to get a stimulus bill passed before the elections. We, we all know that. I know it. You know it. The Republicans know it. The Democrats know it. But what the Republicans and Democrats don't seem to understand is they think the American people don't understand. <laughs> we might not be the brightest on average, but we aren't so stupid and naive to think that this going back and forth between the Republicans and the Democrats is anything other than political wrangling at the expense of the American people. Now, each side is going to make it sound like they are the most genuinely and sincerely uh, in tune with the plight of the American people right now. And the results, I don't care what you say, the proof is in the pudding. It's the results that prove to me what's going on. And since we're not getting any results, it's just telling me that they don't care. They just want to blame the other side, this side or the other. It's like, quit dying on hills that are made up of the American people's bodies. <laughs> so uh, let's listen to Mitch McConnell. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at Mitch. Uh, I cut back on the dark side, Senator Palpatine, because you're you're looking rough nowadays. Holy shit balls. Have you seen this guy laugh? It's the most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your life. Look it up. <laughs> when you're done with this video, look up McConnell laughing. It'll give you nightmares. So I'm, I'm not trying to give you nightmares, but if you're into that kind of thrill, you know, it is close to Halloween. If, if you want to be terrified, look that up. So let's see what uh, Senator Palpatine has to say about why we're not going to get any help. The coronavirus is surging across the country and my state and many others as well. I think I can safely say that I and most of my members believe that another package is important. We've been trying to pass something that we think is targeted directly at the greatest need literally for months. I put a package on the floor a month ago that every Republican but one voted for and all the Democrats voted against package that I think would enjoy unanimous support on both sides, except that the Democratic argument appears to continue to be, if we can't have everything we want, we won't allow anything to pass. My members think that we need to try to address this again. We'll vote on the popular PPP loan program today and the larger $500 billion package uh, tomorrow. I don't anticipate that we'll get any Democratic votes, but we wanted to make the point to the American people that Senate Republicans believe another package is important, and we've crafted one that we think includes things that are not controversial. I'm aware that uh, discussions continue between the President and the Speaker about a larger package. Um, obviously, if that were to come over, uh, we'd have to consider it and would consider it. With regard to the spring. Okay. I'm glad he told us at the very beginning of that that he's aware that we're in the middle of a pandemic involving COVID uh, because he is nowhere to be seen on this. No advice, no leadership, no pointing out uh, who we should be listening to or shouldn't, uh, just no help or guidance or leadership at all, except for in stonewalling real help for the American people while facilitating the largest transfer of wealth in human history to the tiniest percentage of American citizens. It's just unreal. And can, can we put a pulse ox on... on uh, Senator Palpatine here because he looks a little cyanotic. Well, that's it for this update on a non story. We already knew that the stimulus isn't going to get passed until well after the election, if at all. I mean, at this point, there's no guarantees it will be at all. So we'll see how this plays out. This is just all theater, it's to try to damage control, make people look better. Uh, position the blame so that the political wrangling and uh, gambling that they're doing at the expense of the American people 
might pay off at election time. I hope it doesn't. I hope all these people lose their jobs.